okay, we're going to make a video on converting Apple iPhone videos uh, to a file that we can use in Movie Studio on our Windows computers. So the first thing you're going to do is find the video that you brought in from your camera. So mine is right here, Apple sample video. Notice how it's in my H drive in my class folder. If you look in there, these three videos I have in here are MOV files. And so those don't work well with these Windows machines because QuickTime isn't supported anymore. So we're going to convert those. So we have to go into a program called Ice Cream. And you're going to, let's set our settings up first. And, and what, the reason I want to do this is where I want to save it. I don't want these videos to save to the C drive. So I want to pick where they're going to save to, and I want it at the same location I had before. So we're going to go H drive, this class, and then I'll just stick it back in this folder. So I actually, you just want to single click on it and hit select folder. Now you can see that's where it's going to save to. We're going to change the video format, so video and format, and... <clears throat> Save settings. Now let's add the files. Click here to add files. Find those files that we put in there. We'll go to this class, Apple Sample Video. Highlight all those and hit open. We're going to do video format in the format of WMV, which is a common Windows format, and then convert. It's going to convert them and bring them back into that same folder. And as that converts, you can actually see them popping into place here in this folder. So there's the old MOV file. Here's the new WMV as it keeps converting these. So we'll just let you watch this run here for a minute. Okay, so those are all done. If you look over here, you can see the WMVs are there. We can organize by date modified, and there's our top WMVs. That's what gets added to Movie Studio, not the MOV files.